did you watch the videos this weekend that were released did, yes. on, on the quarterbacks? I did, yeah. Including the one about competing for the job? Yes. Okay. As far as your meetings and being around them, is that an accurate reflection? I thought, or was it dramatic? No, I thought, I, thought, uh, I thought that was a tremendous representation of who both kids are first individually and then who they are as, as uh, teammates. Uh, and that, uh, that's a thing that, that unites, that's, that's cowboy culture, right? People want to say, well, what is cowboy culture? It's when you have two kids battling it out for a position and, uh, and it should be competitive. It should be cutthroat at times. It should be, uh, we want to win games here. We want to score a lot of points. That's, that's Division One football. But uh, to see those guys embrace each other in the locker room, that, that was not staged at all. That, that's who they are. And uh, I think that's a great, testament to Coach Gundy and, and uh, the kids that he brings in here first in recruiting and then how uh, we shape them while they're, while they're here as well. So um, that, was, uh, that was great to see. I know you talked about what you were looking for in the spring. Now the timetable is, is much you know, shorter mm -hmm. to get to the first game and get into the season. What are you looking for out of those two guys over the next month? Yeah, you weren't in here, Robert, but I know. The, the three things, and this is it, it's, it's CIA, right? The CIA guys in the movies always seem to get things done. But number one is competitiveness. I, I need to coach a kid, and I think our program needs a competitive quarterback. Uh, they need to be the guy that wants to win every relay race. They want, they want to score on every possession. Uh, we want to score a touchdown on every drive. So if, if our quarterback isn't personifying that, then, then we've picked the wrong guys. It's the ones that have um, had great success are, are the ones quarterbacks that, that uh, you know you hear stories about guys not wanting to give up a point one-on-one -on -one basketball or whatever uh, that's who we want secondly I want them to be intelligent it, it there is a lot on the shoulders of the quarterback in this system and, and uh, I need their intelligence to come through and then and then finally uh, accuracy um, quarterbacks come in in all shapes and sizes so uh, you could be a tall strong arm guy you could be a shorter accurate guy uh, you just, everyone needs to complete the football in order to move it down the field. So uh, we got to make sure that we, uh, you know, and they all kind of overlap a little bit. You know, intelligent guys tend to be a little bit more accurate at times, but uh, we need those three things from our guys.